here we are at a roof deck on the west side of Vancouver and this is a typical problem we run into is this cap flashing detail is done here. When you do cap flashing, you're supposed to actually have a self-adhesive membrane or a waterproof membrane down first and then you do metal cap flashing. Well, it seems like everyone forgot that this metal cap flashing here isn't the waterproofing system. The waterproofing system comes in what you put down first. What you're supposed to put first down is something that's called self-adhesive membrane. It's a generic name, peel and stick. You see it all the time around windows and on top of cap flashings. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take off all this old cap flashing, do a proper detailing of peel and stick membrane down here, and then our guys are going to come back and they're going to put a proper metal flashing on it. And we're going to do um, standing seams or S-locks on here. These ones are just overlapped and just caulked. So that's not the proper way either. We're going to do standing seams and a peel and stick first, then metal cap flashing, and we'll just keep you abreast as we go along. So what you do is you nail your self the membrane, cut it to length, and you neatly roll it back up. When you're doing long runs like this, it's always nice to have a second person to do it so you can get it down nice and straight. Now if it's a colder day, you have to use a primer first before you put the peel and stick down. But since today is smoking hot, we don't need it. It's going to stick very well without the primer. Okay, so now that I've got it rolled out, I'm going to call my friend in here, Magnus Lindquist. He's going to be taking off the backer piece on here that keeps it so it doesn't stick right away. So he's going to peel back the backer. It's a little bit tricky to peel it back. It's like trying to find the end of a piece of tape. Everyone's tried to do that before. So you peel back the backer, he's going to put it in place where he wants it. And once you put it over top of the peeling stick, you get one shot. That's it. It sticks, it's done. You want to make sure when you put it down, you've got a place where you want it. I'm going to lift it up, and I'm going to peel back that back end to reveal the sticky part. And he's going to put it down where he wants it. Working the wrinkles out as he goes. Very nice. See how with two people, it goes very quickly. So when you put it down, it's going to be a little wrinkle sometimes that comes in it. So all you do is, I'm watching for wrinkles, I just tell them there's a wrinkle, which there isn't right now, but if there is, you just tack it down, you pull it tight on either side, you pull that wrinkle out, and you smooth the wrinkle right out of it. And it's just that easy. Wrinkle, you can just smooth that wrinkle down. It's not the end of the world, but like anything else, you want to be as neat as possible. So one of the key components here now is back to positive lapping. When putting this down, it's important that this peel and stick heating edge covers this stucco. So when water gets underneath the cap flashing, it's going to roll here, roll down the outside of the stucco wall. If it's behind the stucco, well then it's just going to go behind your stucco wall and we're back to having a rotting wall. So it's key that this goes in front of the stucco. I'm just going to pan along the areas we've done so you can see. This section we've already done. This is a, was a really long run. And you can see how nice and smooth it is and how it's covering stucco.